hey guys it's melanie what is up kind of a weird way to start this video but i'm in a bit of a rush today well first off i have two classes but after that i'm gonna be heading to a craft store it was so hard to find a craft store here because they don't have like you know Michaels, they don't even got Target here. So I am gonna be taking the freaking tube to a craft store to get some supplies. Sorry, not me like packing my bag while I film my intro to the video, but we gotta do what we gotta do here. I am gonna be going to get some yarn, some knitting needles. I'm gonna learn how to knit, guys, but maybe not in this video. I am gonna be continuing my crocheting career, which you guys all know and love, but that's been my my big focus in life here. And I wanna crochet a lot of things, which unfortunately, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to bring them home, but that's a problem for later Melanie, as always. So you guys are gonna be coming along with me, of course, while I go on this little adventure and I'm going to make something fun, which we'll see soon. So I'll catch you guys on the tube. Step out onto the dark Watch the ghost It's so expensive And we're Hey! Yarn haul! But first off, I got two really fun yarns I was gonna buy stuff on Amazon because it's cheaper But I thought, I don't know what I thought I wanted to go touch it and stuff And I had nothing to do today, so I bought yarn I got this one I think I'm gonna make a hat with this one I think, like a little bucket hat And then this one, I actually don't know what I'm gonna make I also got knitting needles I have no clue how to knit. I don't know if these are the right needles. I feel like when I fly back home, they will take these from me because they're gonna think I'm gonna stab someone with this, but it's okay. Well, I actually have no clue what I'll make either. I don't know what you can make when you knit, but maybe a beanie or something, but that's the question from today. The little haul, and I'll show you what I make after. All right, here we go. So I'm starting my little hat. I just looked up like a bucket hat crochet tutorial online and I'll link it because she's probably gonna teach it way better than I ever could. This is kind of just like follow along with me. This is where we are right now. It's honestly probably better that I'm trying to follow a video rather than like explain it because I keep losing track and getting confused and low key I'm like really bad at counting, but that's okay. Um. Anyways, if you want a quick verbal explanation and kind of I recorded it a little bit, chain four, slip stitch and then you do a bunch of half double crochets i believe 10 and then you do two half double crochets in each stitch and then the next row you alternate from one half double crochet and two half double crochets in each stitch which is where i am right now but honestly watch the video just just watch the video i also like these are more like me testing it out because Logan. <laughs> Not the best teacher, I'm not gonna lie, but creative inspiration here. Also, gosh, you can see it. I, I don't know if it's been wrong with me, but I can't handle my caffeine here. I think I've also been intaking a lot of it. So even like crocheting right now, I'd be shaking, guys. All I had was like, okay, we have a little like Mr. Resto machine here. I have like two pods of that. I don't know if that's a lot. That's just like two shots here, right? Also, I think the coffee here is not as strong because they give you like- Did I do two? Did I do one? I think I did one. I think they just give you like one shot instead of two here because they give you like a really small like eight ounce cup at most places. But I drink that and then I get like another one. Or today I had a chai. Okay, I think that's it for like the top of my hat but also i did this so quickly and i just started knitting if you saw like my other video i like okay i know i just learned how to do it so it's probably gonna get easier but knitting is so much harder and like takes more thought i don't know i feel like when i crochet if i mess up i can just go back even this i'd be messing up and it looks fine right like it looks fine but when i'm knitting it's like I also don't know what I'm making, but you guys will see that later. It's kind of like I think I'm just making a, a little box right now I don't know. Maybe a shirt. I think I'm getting the hang of this It's just a lot more counting than I'm used to. That's what I like about crocheting. It's like so pattern oriented It just makes sense to me. You just increase every time So you'll do like one half double crochet and then one and then two in one and then the next time it'll be like two This is why I don't teach. It'll be like half double crochet half double crochet and then two half double crochets in one and then the next round will be like half 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 
and then two in one. So you like just add an extra single half double crochet. Also, if you don't crochet and you're watching this, that made absolutely no sense to you guys. I think I'm getting to the point though where I'm crocheting purely for enjoyment. Literally don't need these things. I don't need another beanie. I literally am not gonna have room to bring any of these things home. I guess I could like, make stuff for people or something, but I think the act of crocheting is just so much fun. Fun. I love doing things with my hands like this or like sewing, I don't know, knitting, making friendship bracelets, making lanyards. Counting thing is really throwing me off though. If I do this now, what am I gonna do when I'm a grandma? Like I already do all the grandma activities right now. Am I gonna be a grandma and doing like young people activities then? Because I ran out of everything. I'm kind of questioning my yarn choice too right now. It's looking a little vibrant. Looked good in my head though. Mm. Hey friends, long time no see. I unfortunately haven't really been hitting it off with the crocheting, so I'm super excited to get back into it right now. You know what's actually been taking up my time is knitting. Since this little guy, I, I do want to show you guys. Look at her. I like how I called it a little guy and then I said her, but we love switching it up. Do I know what I'm making? Absolutely not. Did I switch patterns halfway through because I didn't know what I was doing? Absolutely. But this is kind of just me. You can't really tell even. Maybe in better light, I'll show a clip, but this is me learning how to knit. I went through some really rough patches with her. I'm not gonna lie. I may have started crying from knitting. That's actually so embarrassing to admit. I also went full in. I did order like five balls of yarn the other day and I got these wooden needles too because I heard they're better and I got these thicker ones. So guys, actually watch out because I think I'm gonna be doing a knitting video soon, which I'm super excited for. Anyways, we're getting back into the crocheting because I haven't touched her for a little while. Where did my, oh, I thought that I lost the needle and I got worried because I'm already one needle down and I only have three, but I think I remember where I was with this. You know, here's my little comparison so far. I don't know. I feel like I can enjoy both of them a lot and I'm glad that I have both crocheting and knitting to like lean on. I'm really talking about it like they're my support system but i'm not gonna lie they kind of are i don't know they're a little bit different because knit is literally <laughs> this might be a dumb thought but i realize knit is literally like knit materials like sweaters it looks a little different than crocheting but personally i do think crocheting is a little bit easier to do like you don't have to think as much i could definitely carry a full-on conversation while i crochet i don't know something partially that's just because i've been doing it longer probably like i'm sure knitting will get easier eventually but right now i do still have to like think pretty hard when i do it um also knitting is like if you mess up guys that's why i cried if you mess up it's over like maybe i'm oh frick i say that as i mess up crocheting maybe it's just me like I don't know how to do it I swear like when you mess up you have to like reweave the whole thing and it's awfully confusing but like crocheting if you mess up it's relatively easy see I just did it little demonstration not even intentional but like if you mess up you can just like undo it pretty easy and then you don't lose your mind going like mad having to redo the whole thing i do think i don't know if it's faster i don't know what else i just felt like it was easier to pick up also just having like two massive needles sticking out of my bag that could literally impale me is kind of a little bit more inconvenient than like having one little crochet needle so there's always that that was a fun little analysis of crocheting versus knitting that absolutely no one asked for anyways both of them awesome hobbies once again no clue how I'm gonna bring home all the stuff that I knit knit slash crochet because as we can see by my first like couple of weeks being here I'm gonna be doing a lot of it apparently again so slight change of the angle just talking you through this a little bit in case you want to hear it from me which you probably don't because i am not the best at explaining stuff but basically what we're gonna do or what we're doing right now to make this hat is you're just gonna do the same pattern I was talking about where each row you add an extra half double crochet. So you increase on the second, then you increase on the third, then the fourth, then the fifth, all the way up to six. So right now I'm increasing on the fourth, so I have a couple more rows to go. If this makes more sense, basically we're gonna do one half double crochet, two half double crochets, three, and then on the fourth one, we're going to put two into the same hole. 
We're gonna do another angle because that one was kind of wonky. Mind, yeah. I just wanna go home. Sitting on the interstate five. Driving could never ease my mind how I wanted to. Yeah. I just wanna know. Essentially, we are trying to like make this as big as the surface area of the top of your head because this is gonna be like the top of the bucket hat, I believe. But we're almost done. We have like one more row to go for an average size head. Hey friends, I just took my first exam of the semester and it was not lovely handwriting an essay for the past hour and a half. And I'm sad, so are the birds. So first off, I have some packages to open, which is exciting. But I also just want to crochet because that was depressing. First off, I only ordered yarn, but like, look at this. I think they vacuum sealed my yarn. I only have nail scissors, so it's kind of a struggle. Birds are kind of a struggle right now. It's my yarn, why'd they do that? It makes me uncomfortable. See her come to life. <laughs> Wait, this is kind of fun actually. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I want to knit a sweat. Wow, these birds. I want to knit a sweater. So this one has like salt. Wow, never gotten yarn like this before. I have no clue how much yarn you need to make a sweater. I feel like you need more than this though. It's so sad. I like how I'm not even knitting a sweater in this video. Anything yarn related, I have to film it. I have to put it in here. This is a little more normal. Weird too. Because these are the same brand, but one came in a box. Starting my yarn pile over here. This is my knitting progression. Wait. Guys, I'm so sorry about these birds. I don't know what's going on out there. Little update on this thing. We made it to our sixth row. So this is like the size. The top of the hat. But now we're going to start making like the... If you can imagine this the side part and it seems pretty straightforward like i feel like if i tried really hard i could definitely whip this out in a day basically we're just gonna keep up the half double crochets just no increases and then we're only gonna do the back loop for this row you left me a i'm kind of self-conscious about my face as i do this because when i like speed up my crocheting videos and watch it my face is always like or look angry for some reason Day, I did two more rows with just the back loop and it's starting to form and then after this all you do is do I think six more rows of the same thing just like no increasing just double half crochets but in both loops by the end of that it should be the entire like hat and then you just have to make the rim not bad at all right One episode of Euphoria down, and this is an update on my hat. It looks a little like big and squarish. It looks kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Based on the length of it, I think I might just go straight into the brim. Cause she said to do eight things, but like look, it's already covering my head. Like maybe I have a small forehead. I don't know, but I'm also running out of yarn. So I think I'm gonna start the rim after I go on a walk. The way you move on like you do. Friends, I'm back from my walk, making the brim. It's pretty simple. It's kind of continuing the same thing. We're just gonna do one row of half double crochets, but only on the inner stitch. And then we're gonna do the same increasing thing from where we left off. So six and then double on the second, seventh double on the eighth. And you basically just keep doing that until the rim is like the width you want it to be. So I'm kind of just gonna feel this one out. Mm -hmm. 
We switched to Emily in Paris and I am determined to finish this hat today. I think I'm gonna be doing like, I think this is my last rim. So it's gonna be like, ooh, ooh, wait, almost out. You can't really tell, but she's almost out. Hey guys, we are finishing up the final stitch of the hat. I just gotta snip it and then we're done. <laughs> So fun. What do we think? Let's weave the ends in. I have leftover yarn. Okay, this always feels like a big deal. It feels wrong. Ta-da. Now we're just gonna weave the ends in and we'll have a brand new hat to wear. How cute. Okay guys, final update. Here is the finished hat. Look how cute. Also, it's just like, I don't know if I did something wrong, but it's really large. But I guess like if my hair is curly, it might be better, but it is very big. But anyways, I still think it's rather cute and I am excited to be wearing it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this fun little adventure. We started two new shows doing this. Let me know what things you would want to see me either crochet, we can crochet together, or even knit because as you saw, I think I'm gonna be getting into that. But like, this is so fun. I don't want to make like a matching scarf. I want to make a matching one for, you know, like my dog and my entire family. I just think it's so fun. Also, this is such a great one to whip out really quick, especially if you're a beginner. I think it was really great. And it's also like, you can make it kind of adjustable. Like if you want to make the brim different, I'm probably gonna make some more of these and like make it a little different for my head shape and stuff. I don't think I have a small head, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I know you Come on, baby, be with me so happily Oh, I wish I had my, my tall tripod Right now we're doing something a little dangerous Hey, I keep changing the angle Not cute, but anyways